Hey everyone, so we're back with Mark Ferrari, uh, rock star, auteur, actor, music publisher, and uh, what else? I know business you got man? other stuff. Yeah, businessman. Yeah. Flash keep publisher. Going, keep going. <laughs> the head is going like this, you know. <laughs> it's blowing up. <laughs> Deservedly so, though. Very impressive career you've had, Mark. Um, Thank you. Oh, oh and I might add, I know this from personal history, from you telling me this uh, at one point, you were sal salutatorian of your class. Isn't that right? Hi, it's Kimbra. Mark Ferrari is one of those rare musicians who was really good in school. I think if he knew the competition had been that close, though, he would have studied a little harder to become valedictorian. That's true. That's rolling back to... Uh, <laughs> That's a little bit of, uh, what is it, not trivia, right? <laughs> yeah, I was my class salutatorian, and um, I didn't even... I didn't even know I was uh, my class salutatorian. You would have studied a little harder, wouldn't you? Yeah, because you know, back then I was, you know, I was uh, playing playing out weekends, and you know, I just, uh, you know, I, I I was living the rock star, you know, well, not the rock star, but 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 you know, the rock lifestyle back then, uh -huh. and um, so yeah, I, I was pleasantly surprised. I I might have applied myself a little more, right? You know, but. <laughs> Well, you know, Kelly and I often talk about this, about the whole college thing. And I know you told me at one point you got a, a scholarship, right? If you like our videos, go ahead and click on like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Well, yeah, I, I won a uh, four-year <laughs> region scholarship in, in New York State. I could I could have used, I could have gone to any state school and used that, that, that um, uh, scholarship. It was four years. And I initially put it on hold when I moved to Boston, and then it, it just, it just, you know, I, I was having too much fun washing dishes and playing in a rock band to go to college. You know, so. Kelly, receiving a college scholarship is a wonderful thing, but when you meet one of your idols like Joe Perry, as Mark did, it can also make you work that much harder toward your dreams. But you, in your career path, I, I don't think you, I mean, you know, maybe it would have helped if you would try to go up the chain of the corporate world more, but uh, in your, on your path, I don't think it really was necessary. Well, you know? I, I think a college degree is important when you are working for other people, but when you're working for yourself, it's not so mm -hmm, important. Mm -hmm. And you, and you important. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah, every, okay. Oh, whose dog was that? Sorry. Okay. My dog. So, so I know you've written some books. Rockstar 101 is one. And what is the other book that you wrote? Well, I also wrote a children's book. What? Um, <laughs> I wrote a children's book. Um, I have a, a daughter who's now 18. Whoa. But um, <laughs> when my daughter was very, very young, it uh, became apparent that she was time challenged. Kelly and I both know that working on a book is an amazing creative outlet and working on a children's book must have been a really interesting project and a wonderful way to bond with his daughter. Uh, she was always running late for things and we just could not get her out the door um, on time. We tried all the tricks, you know, setting the clocks ahead and, you know, saying we had to leave, you know, at 10 o'clock when it really, you know, we had to leave at, you know, 1030. Um, That's an old trick. We, we were we were always missing things and one day i don't know where this came from i just blurted it out don't dilly dally silly sally it just like just came out of me i don't you know i don't know where it came from i was like hmm, that's interesting um <laughs> and uh i was working full time for universal at that time so it i, I just kind of like parked that idea in the back of my head that there was something there and uh, after I stepped down from uh, you know, working at Universal, I had all this free time. Mm -hmm. And I decided to circle back to that. And I, I wrote um, a, a manuscript. I, you know, originally, it was kind of a, just a gentle love story for my daughter and about my daughter. And it blossomed into something else. I, I actually got um, a book deal for it. And it oh. was all children's imprint. Um, but that came out, uh, I think, four or five years ago. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just kind of a gentle story about a girl that constantly runs late for things, but she finally uh, learned some uh, techniques for time management. And um, by the way, the book, I, I saw a lot of books to adults too, because there's definitely adult. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lawyers or lollygaggers, you know, or procrastinators are all, all three are you know, time shifting things, are, they're slightly different. Uh, a lollygagger is different than a, a procrastinator is, you know. 
But what what is the word when people get uh, easily distracted? I have a lot of friends that do that. They get distracted, and then you know. that's called ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Um, but anyway, that's cool. That's cool. So, so, yeah, link. so, so where can people buy that book? Am, Amazon.com or if they want a personally signed book, mm -hmm. they can they can reach out to me on my website, markferrari.com. Okay. And I can personally sign it and send it. But it is available at barnesandnoble.com and Amazon.com. All right, we'll put a link down yeah. below the video. Yeah. 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 Oh. And, oh, yeah. uh, but I Maybe. did want to ask you about the rock cruises. Cause I know you told me you went, you did some, uh, went last year or when was it? Well, Keel has played, uh, I think you're referring to the biggest rock cruise out there is called the monsters of rock cruise. Hi, it's Kimbra. Personally, I'm not a big cruise person, but this monsters of rock must've been like sensory overload and anything involved with seeing great music every night is my kind of cruise. So Monsters mm -hmm. of Rock was a, uh, a concert series, and mm -hmm. um, so they rebranded it with a cru with a cruise. It's 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 like uh, thirty of your favorite commercial hard rock bands mm -hmm. on one cruise. So uh, last year was uh, the ten year anniversary, and Keel has uh, you know they they usually uh, rotate the band so like the, every other year you know we'll play. So we, we we've played we you know Keel's been on that cruise five times. Wow. And last year was interesting for a number of different reasons. Not only was Keel on there, but my second band, Cold Sweat, reunited for the first time in 29 years. Now, I hadn't even seen two of the guys in Cold Sweat in 29 years. Whoa. We had one rehearsal, and then we played the pre-cruise party in Miami the night before uh, the ship sailed. They, they have a, a concert. And we killed it. There's a lot of video out there. And then we played one more show on the, on the cruise. So... I actually pulled uh, triple duty because I, I played with Keel, I played with Cold Sweat, and then uh, we also had a Kiss cover band that did a set too. Oh, so I was a busy boy on that cruise, but uh, the Monsters of Rock cruise, uh, um, yeah, they sell out now. So uh, the headliners are, are usually people like uh, Queensryche or Tesla, uh, Night Ranger. Uh, next year's cruise, uh, Alice Cooper is the headliner. Cool. cool. And uh, they're a lot of fun. You know, for me, it's like, you know, it's, it's kind of like musical homecoming, you know, you, hey. you see all your friends, you know, and different bands. And I'm a fanboy too. Like I go, I go see, you know, a lot of the bands I just mentioned that I'm, I'm there, you know, I'm there watching them from the side of the stage. And, uh, you know, King's X was on, on, on the cruise last year, one of my favorite bands of all time. <laughs> um, I got to meet Steve Harris and Iron Maiden uh, on mm -hmm. one of the cruises. Uh, is yeah, Paul yeah. Taylor still playing with or yeah. for Alice Cooper? Paul Taylor still plays with Winger. And Winger oh. is typically on the you know, same cycle as us, like every other year. So, yeah, he was on the cruise uh, uh, last year, too. I know he moved to Nashville at some point, but I didn't uh, know. He's, he's been there quite a while, actually. <clears throat> oh, fun. Cool. So the cruises are a lot of fun. Uh, they leave from um, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, depending upon what, what port, you know, what port is available uh, that year. They typically, typically sail for five nights. And they'll they'll stop at they'll stop at two different ports in the Caribbean. Sometimes it's Jamaica. Sometimes it's Haiti. Sometimes it's uh, um, wait. So how long do they sail for? Five months. Five nights. Oh, okay. <laughs> five months. That's oh, a lot. Well, <laughs> and trust me, at five, after five days of being on that cruise, it's like being on the floor of the casino for five days. It, it's it's just it's like, like sensory kind of, overload, right? Sensory <laughs> overload, and you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, some, some of the bigger guys uh, I know sequester in their rooms from time to time. Uh, but no, uh, there's other, you know, KISS has their own cruise, right? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, KISS, I think they're on year seven or eight or nine, something like that, the KISS cruise. And um, I think I think they had Motley Cruise one year. <laughs> yeah. So some bands are big enough where it's branded as their cruise. And sure. Maybe it's not the same, you know, big ships that we go out on that, you know, hold... 3,000 paying customers but uh so the whole cruise thing is is really um on the rock side has really exploded in the last 10 years or so yeah that's oh, the kind of cruise that sounds fun you know yeah. so yeah. anyway um and so when you're on these cruises you guys perform and mm -hmm. then you also mingle with the people yeah. on the cruise and yeah we'll do uh meet and greets there's typically the bands are required to do a meet and greet a photo session question and answer period and they all, you know, they all have, they have fun stuff like you know cooking with rock stars or you know um, 
huh. you know, air guitar judging contests or, you know, or, you know, dress your best 80s contests, that kind of stuff. So it's fun for me. I, I, I love it, you know, and I, I love the interaction with, with the fans, you know, yeah. um, it, it, it um, can get a little tiring. I tell you, at the end of the, the five days, you, you need a vacation from your vacation. You know? <laughs> but, uh, it's yeah, something we all look forward to. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, are you um, mainly living in Big Bear now or where? I commute from uh, a place in Agora Hills and I, I bought a place in Big Bear last year. I've been going up to Big Bear for over 30 years and I finally pulled the trigger on buying a place up there. And, and uh, I've, I've always been uh, attracted to mountains and um, I love hiking and backpacking and camping and fishing and four wheeling. And, you know, I get to do all that up there. And um, so... I love it. I love it up there. There's a few other rocker guys up there too. I know. So uh, really, like, can you name names? Oh, uh, I know Davy Johnstone has a place up there. From uh, um, he's he's an Elton John's guitar player. Oh yeah. I, I haven't oh, seen yeah. him up there, but I know he's got a place up there. And um, I know there's some movie stars. They have places up in Big Bear. Kevin Costner, Britney Spears. Sure. Uh, Ron Howard's got a place up there. Uh, and Mark Ferrari. Yeah, there's more that I probably don't know about either, you know, but uh, um, Big Bear is, is my happy place. <laughs> I just love going up there. Well, you worked hard, so you deserve it, right? Thank you. <laughs> so do you have any other questions, Kel? Well, no, I'm just, uh, you know, I learned more, even more about you than I knew before, Mark. And, um, uh, you know, your career is just so impressive. It's a little intimidating that you've done so many different things and had success in so many different areas. So, um, you know, thank you for sharing with us oh, and our audience. Welcome. Well, uh, I still, I still got a few laps around the sun here to go. So I'm, uh, you're I'm not, not ready there. to retire just yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to pull out the rock and share <laughs> okay. uh, quite yet. Um, okay. Good. Well, we look forward to hearing more from yes. Mark Ferrari yes. and maybe you'll be back next time when you have a new project. Yeah. yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, Good to thanks. See you, Mark. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.